It often comes as a surprise that South Carolina is prone to earthquakes. Lots of earthquakes. And if you've been feeling the ground move under your feet a lot lately, they've been happening with greater frequency. Here to share why is Dr. Thomas Pratt, research geophysicist at the U.S. Geological Survey. It's great to have you. Hello, nice to be here. When I left California, I thought I was trading earthquakes for hurricanes. Why is South Carolina so prone to earthquakes? Well, I wouldn't say it's so prone to earthquakes, but we get earthquakes pretty much anywhere in the United States. Um, and the eastern U.S. does get substantial earthquakes. So it's not surprising that you, you feel occasional ones. And in fact, in 1886, they had a magnitude 7 earthquake under Charleston, South Carolina, and that caused extensive damage. So you're not immune from earthquakes there. Right, certainly not. You say that all over the country that there are little microquakes and tumblers and things like that. But um, when we're talking about the eastern coast of the United States, and particularly here in the south, are we talking San Andreas type faults or are we talking something a bit different? Well, there's faults everywhere in the eastern U.S. It's a very old part of the continent. There's, there's faults that have developed over hundreds of millions of years. The question is which one, ones of these are active. And we have a lot less seismicity than in California because we're not at an active plate margin. You know, California, you've got the Pacific plate and the North American plate rubbing against each other. We don't have anything similar here. So in some ways, it's surprising we get any earthquakes uh, in the eastern U.S., but nonetheless, we do. And, and in certain places in the country, fracking is a cause of earthquakes. Is there a particular cause here? I know that there's also some ideas being batted around in terms of a man-made lake. Why would these have an impact on the rest of the earth around us? Well, basically what happens when you have fracking or you have um, uh, man-made lakes filling up is that it increases the water pressure that are in the fault zones and that pushes the faults apart, it lubricates them a little bit, and that can influence the, uh, the propensity for, for earthquakes. Um, the ones that you've been feeling are near a man-made lake that has been uh, implicated for earthquakes in the past, but it's been a number of years since that since there have been earthquakes associated with that lake. So we're not sure whether these are associated with the lake or not. They may be, but they may just be natural earthquakes. Mm -hmm. Even without that lake there, there were small earthquakes in that part of South Carolina anyway. So. Right, right. Are we getting any closer to predicting when earthquakes are about to hit? <laughs> We have been trying to do that for many years and not successfully. Um, it's, it's a difficult problem. And, and back in the 1960s and 70s, we thought we might be able to answer that question, but it's been a very difficult problem to answer. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of people around the world that would love to know when one is about to hit. <laughs> they yeah, can be very scary. Yeah, it'd be nice to get some warning. It would. It certainly would. Um, and finally, being that South Carolina is you know, does experience those occasional earthquakes. Is there anything special that people should do to secure their home or to think about maybe just in preparation for maybe another one that could mimic the one that happened over 100 years ago? Well, there's online, you can read a lot of information about how to how to earthquake proof your health, health uh, house, if you will. Um, one of them is make sure it's bolted to its foundation. Another is make sure that you don't have a lot of heavy objects up high bolt your bookshelves to the wall, things like that. There's a lot of fairly inexpensive things you can do. And also make sure you have emergency supplies, water and food, because you might get cut off for, for three or four days if you have right. a large earthquake. That's true. So just have a preparedness kit, emergency preparedness kit, which also works for hurricanes and tornadoes, et cetera. Just took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> we, we know when those right. are coming. You know a little more than earthquakes. It's true. Dr. Pratt, Although, thank you so much. Tornadoes can be unpredictable. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate this really okay. interesting insight. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Thank you. We're back after this.